hi guys welcome back this is the relaxed hair that i will be talking to you about in my video and my big chop so stay tuned hi guys it's me again from the real me naturally and as you can see i am i have my hair down in its natural state and i am getting ready to do a hot oil treatment but first i wanted to come and talk to you guys about um, five things about why your hair might not be growing or you might not be getting that lint retention that you'd like so here they are uh, no trims so you might not be getting you might not be doing trims the way you should be doing trims the way I do my trims is when my hair tells me that I need a trim when my hair starts to knot up and just is unmanageable can't do anything with it hardly you know what i'm saying that's when i know that it's time for a trim okay and a second might be you might not be deconditioning okay i wasn't deconditioning from the beginning and my hair felt so dry and brittle and when i started deconditioning my hair got better it just started getting soft and so luscious so that might be one of the things that you need to do. And uh, I didn't have as many tangles and everything. So the third thing is not drinking plenty of water. Not drinking enough water. Now, when I was younger, I did not drink a lot of water. I would go months without drinking water. Um, but I had to learn that water is essential for our body's health overall. Um, and just, just in general health, okay? And our hair, you know, you want your hair, your nails to grow, you want your skin to be beautiful, you want things to flourish. But they're not going to flourish if you're not getting enough water, if you're not getting what you need, okay? Um, drinking pop, sodas, and all of that, and fruity drinks all the time without water, that is not good for your health, okay? So I just want to let you know to drink more water, okay? And they say drink your body weights worth of water. So... Try to drink as much water as you can on a daily basis. Sometimes I'll do this. I'll go like the first week in a month, I'll just drink water for that whole week. I just started doing that and, and it's been working good for me. Very, very good. So just try to start, you know what I'm saying, somewhere drinking water because it's very essential to your health in general. And then the other thing, Number four, you might not be moisturizing your hair enough, okay? Our hair needs to be moisturized so that we won't get all these knots and tangles and it be dry and brittle and you can't do anything with it. You want to make sure that your hair is moisturized at all times. So that is a part of the uh, deep conditioning that we do. Um, because it makes your hair so soft and it's repairing your hair from damage, from just whatever you may be doing. You might be doing a lot of heat and it prepares your hair from the heat damage and everything. So just try to uh, eliminate heat, of course. Uh, I don't really um, put heat in my hair that much. You know, uh, there, one time I didn't put heat in my hair for about, I'll say, probably two years and that was because I was starting to do my healthy hair journey so I did not put heat in my hair for two years and I noticed that my hair started growing a lot because I was not putting heat in it like that now this past this year I did heat in my hair twice okay and that was around when my mom passed and around when uh, my husband's grandfather passed and you know, so I was like, I just wanted to check the length of my hair. But I do not continue to use heat. I did not use heat no more the rest of this year, and I won't be until probably next year just to check the length of my hair. So, yeah, eliminate the heat that you are using, and I'm telling you, you will see results. Your hair will start to flourish. And if you follow these tips, eat all your vegetables, okay, and drink plenty of water and stay away from the junk foods you will see growth because you can't just put products on your hair and think that your hair is going to grow because it's not. You have to do something on the inside of your body to make your hair flourish, okay? So with that being said, I am going to go ahead with my hot oil treatment. 
and I do this once a month okay I try to do this every first of the month which I am behind okay but hot oil treatments are very good for your hair um, I was trying to go on my page and see if I can find some pictures that I can insert and I might still try to do that at the end of this video but please don't be mad if I can't find any pictures which I know I can but uh, I'm gonna try my best to okay but my hair has truly gotten thick and it has come a long way so I'm gonna try to my best to insert some pictures to show y'all that my hair has truly grown because it was really really short guys it was really really short believe me when I tell you and when I had the perms I did not see growth every year my hair was with the perm I never seen and if I did it would always break off and it would never get past my shoulders never get to this length here never okay so I'm telling y'all I need to insert some pictures where y'all can see how my hair was and how damaged it was um, when I had the perm on my head and I'm having trouble so I'm going to go and try to cut this top off of here Stay tuned. hi guys and I'm back again I had to go and cut this off with some scissors so now I am going to begin applying this to my hair this cholesterol hot oil treatment it's the Helena I'm telling you this stuff is the best will make your hair feel so soft and supple y'all supple I said I love this because you get three in here and I'm on my last one and I'm telling you it it lasts okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use half because my hair is not long down my back okay it's not that long down my back now it's long but not that long down my back now if it was long down my back I use the whole thing but yeah this is very very important to keep your hair manageable soft shiny and everything I'm telling you this is awesomeness here y'all and so what I did was I just parted my hair and my hair into fours and the last time I did a hot oil treatment y'all I went and sit under the dryer and that made it even better so I'm thinking about uh after I get through showing y'all this hot oil treatment I'm thinking about going ahead and sitting under the dryer okay so I can you know penetrate this all in my hair and I and, and if you fall in love with your hair I tell y'all this all the time fall in love with your hair and it will love you back okay and I am on my sixth year natural hair anniversary so I'm happy y'all I'm so happy I cut my hair back in 2012 and my back I did two I said two big chops in 2012, I believe, because I went back to the perm after I had had uh, trend. I, I was I did not transition. I just just went on and cut my hair off and cut the perm off and everything. And then I wasn't taking care of my hair under the wig, so I was like, oh my goodness. So uh, I was not doing anything, y'all. I, I, when I first first went natural, I didn't know what I was doing. I was not doing anything under the wigs. I wasn't seeing any growth. And I started taking care of my hair in 2014 is when I really started buckling down taking care of my hair. But like I said, when I first uh, did the first big chop, I did not do anything to my hair. I wasn't doing nothing. I was just putting the wig on and going on about my business. But when I cut it again, after I put that other perm on again, after I decided to go natural and change my mind, and then this other big chop I did, I just went ahead and did what I needed to do, guys. I'm telling you, I just, and, and, and this is the result of not putting the perm back in my hair again in 2012. I really started my journey in 2013, but, but 2012, is the end of like December is when I really chopped off the hair and everything. So, yeah, so I'm so excited about the growth and everything. I'm just so, so excited. So if you're out there and you've been having those kind of issues that I was having, hair not growing, just perms not growing it, ugh, you just have to say it's time to do something different. It's time to do something different with my hair so it can start to thrive, okay? 
<laughs> so I just thought I'd come and talk to you guys and do a hot oil treatment while I talk to you guys. Yes, yes, and a yes. So I'm just excited. It's getting so thick and full. And absolutely, prayer is one of the things that helps to. Come on, y'all. Pray for your head. Prayer works. Prayer works in every area of your life. So start talking to God about things that you want, even things that you want out of life. You know, God will do those things for you. He'll work those things out as long as you're living for Him and 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 just doing His Word, having a relationship with Him. He will open up doors. I am a living witness. Okay. So yeah, just pray for those things that you want in life. Yes, and so I'm trying to get overall healthy. I exercise every day. I have a channel called Healthy and Fit Habits, as some of you all know. So if you want to go check that out, you can. Let's make 2019 the best, okay? Let's do better things, bigger things in 2019. Hey, bigger things in 2019. So I'm going to use that as a motto for this year, this next year that's coming, okay? bigger things in 2019 okay so yes i'm just gonna massage that in a little bit and so i did use half of this bottle of course and the other half i will be putting back in this box and i'm going to let it sit there until next month and then i will go back out and purchase another one of these so i don't use a lot of protein treatments i like to use like st stuff like this because it really hurt, helps and penetrates my hair shaft real well. And so I do not have to really go out and do the protein treatments. I am low porosity hair. And so I just wanted to come and say hi to you guys. And thanks. If you like this video, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe so we can help everybody on their natural hair journey. Thank you again. Bye-bye.